what reason? The cell phone was not here for that reason. So this is the materialistic equation. Now, this is a, you know, one uh, article which uh, I came across. And in this article, there were these paradoxes of life, the modern day living. What are the paradoxes? We are living in an age of taller buildings and shorter tempers, bigger houses, smaller families, more conveniences, but less time, more degrees, but less sense. This happened, uh, you know, one uh, incident happened in one of the multinational companies. This was a soap company. And uh, there was a complaint which they received, this whole soap company. The complaint was, that one of the customers bought their soap and was an empty box. There was no soap inside, it was just empty. So he complained that, you know, what kind of a soap company you are, you are, you know, claiming yourself to be the most perfect. So now the CEO and all the managers and the brains, they came together and they decided that, no, we have to have a system wherein not even a single soap box goes out of the factory empty. So they spent uh, uh, millions and millions of uh, money and they had, you know, a laser technology system wherein, you know, from the conveyor belt when the soap boxes would go out as a finished product, you know, it could scan through that there has to be a soap inside. So what happened after six months, uh, the machine was dysfunctional, that, you know, worth so many millions, that machine was dysfunctional. So now the production cannot be stopped. So this happened in India. So there was this one illiterate worker who was working in that. So what he did, he brought a fan, industrial fan, you know, you know when you have a, like a, what do you call that? Uh, just, yeah, pedestal. Like he just brought a fan. And the conveyor belt, he just kept a fan. Everyone, what are you doing? He said, a any box which is empty will fly off. <laughs> <laughs> and it was only worth 500 rupees. <laughs> so here is the difference between more degrees and less sense. There is a difference between, you know, having all the information and having the wisdom. So more knowledge, less judgment. More experts, less solutions. Wider roads, narrower viewpoints. These are all the paradoxes. We are living in an age of more medicines, less wellness, multiplied possessions, reduced values. Conquer the outer space, but not the inner space. We have higher incomes, lower morals. Fast food, slow division. <laughs> Fancier houses, broken families. So these are the truths and uh, bare realities of this world. Here in this a small boy who is asking, Papa, what is the moon supposed to advertise? <laughs> so TV is called the electronic babysitter nowadays. So what happens is that one of the devotees was giving an example that if you put your baby in front of a TV thinking that, you know, the baby will be engaged watching the TV, then uh, it's like uh, the Brajavasi is handing Krishna to Putna. You know, baby Krishna. Mother Yashoda and Rohini, they were thinking that Putna, because Putna came disguised. Putna came disguised as a very beautiful looking, she like goddess of all. You know. So handing over Krishna to this apparently looking goddess of fortune who was Putna. That's the example given. And in fact, in uh, India, you know, this television came the example is given that television is like Ravan. <laughs> like how Ravan came to kidnap Sita. How did he dress up? He dressed up like this, you know, like a sadhu, a sannyasi. So this television in India, it came like, you know, national network, just three hours of, you know, some news and some classical music, Sudam Sanghi. Like but Ravan came, you know, like sannyasi. But then, when Ravan kidnapped Sita, then showed his real form. Ten-headed monster. So now, this TV has how many channels? Raman was better off. At least he had only ten. <laughs> so, 
you know what happens uh, is that something like this you know looking at the moon the child is asking to the father that what is the moon supposed to advertise because everything in the tv is supposed to advertise something like uh, there was one seminar which uh, i was taking uh, this was in bombay and i asked uh, the people the participants who were there that how many of you remember last time when you looked up in the sky while living in the city and there were no hands nobody remembers that they ever looked up in this when did they look up in the sky to just see the beauty of the sky why because of all the glamour the billboards the hoardings the shops and the people and you know all that glamour all around you know they didn't even get the opportunity to look up and see nature they don't even walk on raw earth so uh, we are getting so far away <clears throat> if a one page news paper ad can sell you a bottle of shampoo don't you think a full length movie can sell you a lifestyle this statement is worth thinking and pondering upon that if people if someone can buy a bottle of shampoo just because of seeing an ad to speak of full length movie it is selling a lifestyle and i don't think that the lifestyle is very much krishna conscious which these movies are selling so the media is getting into the system in such a expert man such a discreet man and such an expert man and such a vicious man so <clears throat> these are some of the things now what you will see what life has become in the age of information and technology wherein they get all the information and they use that information to become technologically astute how technology has changed us you all believe that te- technology has changed us let's see <laughs> so earlier the tvs were of that size and uh, men were of that size flat tummy now we have flat screen but sorry about the tummy <laughs> so definitely technology has changed us so now uh, we will see that uh, how uh, the what we are discussing you know human relationships how it is getting affected so these slides might appear to be a little hilarious but the message is something which is very powerful so here uh, the pregnant wife is told your baby is developing very nicely would you speak to send him and email No, you weren't downloaded. You were born. <laughs> My mother is telling <laughs> the kid. Dear Andy, how have you been? Your mother and I are fine. We miss you. Please sign off your computer and come downstairs for something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> It's happening nowadays. It's happening. <laughs> What you want me to visit your home page to see your homework? <laughs> My name was David but that sounded old fashioned. Short and DVD. Hello Bob it's your father again. I have another question about my new computer. Can I tape a movie from cable TV then fax it from my VCR to my CD-ROM then email it to my brother's cellular phone so he can make a copy on his neighbor's camp cot? <laughs> With wireless sleep technology, the people in my dreams can send email and faxes to the people in yours. <laughs> <laughs> no food, no love. I think we are living in a stupid screensaver. 